everyone, Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines, welcome back to New View. I'm here just checking in on your energy, okay? What is all of this strength? Oh, you're leaving something behind. It's like a circus that you're walking away from. You could be triggering a lot of people right now because you're... It's almost like you, it's almost like this feels like a bowling ball, you know, and these people are getting knocked over. Okay. And you're the one in control of the bowling ball. And it's like, they don't, they keep getting struck. Like I'm, you keep hitting strikes. So these people are getting like struck down or they keep getting hit with some really bad karma. Um, they're, I feel like they just feel completely stuck. Like there's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. They feel like hitting, like sitting ducks for this karma that's coming towards them, and um, and they're seeing that you're like in control of their karma. I don't feel that that's correct, but that's what they think. They think you're in control of their karma, okay? Um, and they're about to get hit with it at any moment. <laughs> All right, they've got no protection. They know this. They don't have any spiritual protection. Um, they don't, this could be, this could be one person or it could be a group of people. Okay. They're all sitting ducks. These are all of your haters, your enemies. You know, I feel like, yeah, I feel like they think that spirit has granted you the power to deliver their karma. I don't think you are the bringer of karma. I think you were the catalyst for their karma, but these people are thinking that, um, you know, what's wrong with them? Don't they believe in the divine? Um, no one has that power. I feel like only only spirit. But these people could see you as like an earth angel, right? They're witnessing your power like at an intuitive level. <sighs> They're seeing you as like an ascended master high priestess kind of energy. Someone who's very tapped in and very close to the divine. And they know that karma is coming for them for how they treated you. Okay? Yeah, and I feel like, honestly, this is where you are right now. You're, you're not delivering anybody any karma. Right now, you're just focused on spirit. You're focused on your transformation. You feel very free. You know, you've got a lot of things to be grateful and thankful for. You're, um, you could be getting blessed. You could be getting, um, you know, a lot of blessings rolling in, a lot of opportunities, open doors of opportunity, a lot of advance, ad advancement for the future, a lot of forward movement here. Some of you could be taking a vacation, making a house move. If you're making a house move, it's like a dream. Like this is such an upgrade, you know what I mean, um, from where you were at before. Like you're just feeling really good, but these people are over here like, oh, the collective has all of this power and they're going to throw a big ball of karma in our direction, you know. Yeah, you're just focused on you and enjoying your life right now. <laughs> <laughs> These people are like afraid of your power, okay? They really are. Yeah, you're hanging out at home. Look, some of you don't even want visitors. You're not out here throwing like wrecking balls of karma at these people. You're actually, I, I kind of get this hermit energy off of you. Um, maybe spirit has kind of, they're led you to, they're leading you to move forward, but um I don't know, some of you may need to come out of your shell a little bit, but I'm seeing that you're not harming anybody. <laughs> you're not. You know, I can also see this as these people trying to hide from their karma because I'm seeing that clock there, like it's almost time. Um, your enemies know that karma's coming for them because of how they treated you. Yeah, you're a mystery, an enigma. Um, extremely intuitive. See, this is the ability that they're afraid of. They're afraid that you're so tapped into the divine that you're actually telling the divine what their karma should be. Okay, for real, for real. You could be a Cancer. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look, everything for them is like drying up. 
Okay, anything that these people had before, it's being depleted. It's going away. Um, like if they had a savings before, there's hardly anything left. If they had job opportunities before, it's all dried up for them. Nobody wants to hire them. You know, if they had an awesome home before that they held over your head, like they were, you know, if they were thinking that that made them better than you, okay, that home is now falling apart and crumbling, okay, they're having issues with it. Um, relationships are turning cold. These people just, it feels like they're out in the cold. But this to me is saying that this is like universal, okay? Um, it's telling me that cycles are ending and these people are having a really horrible beginning for this new cycle, okay? Horrible beginning. Oh, yeah, they're praying. They're praying for miracles. They're praying to be saved. Save me, God. But see, before these people, I feel like they mocked you. They mocked God. They kept, um, they kept treating you miserably. They kept on with their spiritual attacks, and now they're praying for help. I only talk to God when I need a favor. Yeah, um, that's the song I'm getting. Uh, oh, <laughs> why, why do I keep thinking this? The person that, or the group's name is Jelly Roll. It is, is it? I don't know. I don't know who sings that song, but, but please let me know. Okay, maybe it is. I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm having like a a, a a little brain glitch here. Maybe it is Jelly Roll. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up. Yeah. Um. I feel like you have built some kind of solid foundation for yourself. See. They're, everything that they've got or had is being depleted. It's, it's going away. It's like disappearing on them mysteriously. And bad things are filling the void, okay? Um, negative things, negative events in their life. But you, you've got like a treasure here. Um, and I feel like you're guarding over it. I feel like it's been a very long journey for you and you're tired, exhausted. You've been wearing this crown for so long, and I feel like heavy is the heavy is the head that wears the crown, right? Um, yeah, maybe you maybe what you want is like a little break. You know what I mean? A break from the spiritual attacks, a break from uh, it's just it's been draining. I feel like this last journey it's it's been getting draining for you, and now you're ready to move forward, but. You know, um, still at the same time, you're not sure of other people. I feel like um, the things that other people have done to you have left it hard for you to trust, okay? Um, or we've been in isolation for so long, it's maybe hard to meet new people. You have to come out of your comfort zone, okay? Yes. I feel like spirit is like, no, it's time. You know that you want a forward movement. You know, it's time for you to meet other people. <laughs> and you want to be protective. You're like, I just want to protect what I've already created and I need a nap, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, spirit wants you to meet some new people, but you have to leave your house to do that. Okay? You have to change something here with a five. All right, and that is hiding out, okay? And I'm guilty of it, too. The other day, someone rang my doorbell, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. And it's not about anyone from your past. It's just, it's even like meeting new people, anyone, right? But I feel like this is, um, this is where spirit is leading you. They're, they want you to come out of your home or move. You're going to be upgrading here. You've uh, you found the Golden Palace. And I feel like the Golden Palace, to me, it represents like the Ten of Pentacles. I'm, I'm really getting that new love wants to enter into your life. If you'll only allow it to, okay? <laughs> All right, no unexpected visitors, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I feel like this is going to be someone new, someone unexpected. They're already in your vicinity. They're going to want to build a ten of pentacles with you. 
they're going to want to build something solid with you. Okay? And I feel like this is going to be someone that you can trust. Right? Spirit's leading you um, to new people, new things. Yeah, sad embrace. I feel like you're letting go. You're releasing, okay? I'm just getting the sense you want to release the sadness. You want to release the sadness, the bad memories, the betrayals, because that is no longer what defines you, okay? It's not what defines you. What I feel like now um, you've, just, you've, you've come so far. You've made so many big accomplishments, you know, you're looking at that stuff now. I feel like it's, it may be hard, though, to release all that negativity that's been done to you um, without ever getting an apology. You know, you still kind of feel like you never really truly got justice or it's almost like a how could they, how could they have done this all to you? And not apologize. Like it's it's making you not just sad for your own situation that you were in, but it um you know it's hard to it, it maybe it's hard to believe in other people, it's hard to trust other people because of this. Okay. It's it's something that um see that's something that could keep you stuck though from new good connections because you have a good connection coming in all right and i feel like spirit is like we know they're trying to say we know how you feel we know it's hard we know that you had to heal and forgive and release without even getting an apology right we know um how you must feel about other people and the and the horrible ways that they treat people okay because i feel like you're a person who is like i can't believe that th that they did this to me i never got an apology i could never do that to someone else like you could never treat other people the way you were treated okay and it's it like it you lose heart in that um in other people and I, it but that's what's going to keep you stuck i feel like this is what you need to release is the sadness from the past okay because new love wants to come in for you here it does the scales want to balance out for you oh that's a really neat um justice card justice this is justice everything is going to be balanced okay it is going to be balanced some of you are kind of um, keeping yourself stuck to thinking, well, between all of these changes that are happening and, uh, you're, you know, you're, you may be really focused on, your, on a business or something like that, right? In order to keep your ship afloat, some of you may be thinking you don't have a lot of time for love. How are you going to balance your schedule? How are you going to balance your workload? How are you going to balance yourself, Right? You know, so I, I feel like spirit is like, don't, don't get stuck in the mud with these things. I, I feel like they want you to be open to love because you're worthy of love and you deserve love. You know, I feel like that's what you've been. You've been love personified. You know, even, um, even though everybody threw a lot at you. Okay, I feel like you still tried to face everything with a loving heart. But spirits like, you know, don't let the, don't let these things block you from being loved cuz you deserve to be loved in return. And that's what spirit is trying to bring in for you. They're trying to balance these scales for you in love. Okay? Yeah. Um and bring in something new for you, field of dreams coming to life. I'm getting the sense that, you know what, you manifested this. Look, yes, you manifested this. The gentle gardener, see, um, see these eggs, right? You manifested something. You told the universe, I really want love in my life. I want to be loved the right way. And the universe heard you. And now all of a sudden, your manifestations, now it's like everything is, is cracked open. Um, this feels kind of like a rebirth. Okay, 
maybe it's a rebirth within you, you know, a shift. That's really kind of what it feels like is that shift from sadness, from a sad embrace to coming back to life. Okay, so I feel like you're going through a big shift here. And it's it's a shift um, more emotionally and mentally, okay? It's a shift knowing that knowing that you have like knowing beyond the shadow of a doubt that you have a love coming into your life knowing um, beyond the shadow of a doubt that it'll be someone you can trust and grow with right this is this is a big shift for you because before it, it seems like you're second guessing you're nervous you're not wanting to trust okay and then all of a sudden you break free from that this is a really fast shift okay and you're ready. It's like you're ready for a new adventure. This is giving me um this is giving me the fool vibes, right? Ready to start a new adventure. Okay, something new in your life. You're ready. Yeah. And with this butterfly here, I feel like you are going through like a transformation so that you can make that shift. So you can truly open your your heart up and your mind up to new love okay slow and steady as you go um as you start your dating process right as you start meeting new people remember to take it nice and slow get to know people trust your intuition about them pick up on all the red flags and let them get to know you right let them get to know you look look I don't know if I want to talk to anybody. I don't want to get too close to anybody. I don't want anyone too close to me. Let people get to know you and see how beautiful you are and be authentic. But take things nice and slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay? Ooh, give me one more. Dry desert. Yeah, see, you're used to not getting any love at all, are you? Yeah. Look at how dry it is. In tarot, water stands for, like, emotions, right? And look, no one ever gave you anything. I feel like all you ever did was give to other people. It's left you feeling depleted. You don't... Some of you may not even have ever experienced real love in your whole life okay so this new love coming in could very well blow your mind all right and spirit wants you to be ready and open for it i feel like it's going to feel very intense different from anything you've experienced before because honestly i'm not seeing you experiencing any love from anyone if you did get any love from any anybody it's almost like you uh you really had to work for it or pay for it or hurt for it for it for some reason okay other than that it's a dry barren wasteland no one ever gave any love to you that's really sad because you deserve so much better than that so much more than that okay i'm telling you get ready to finally experience real love okay it's sad how you've been treated but i i'm telling you right now everyone who treated you that way they're now afraid of you they think that you're in control of their karma okay wishing well spirit says make a wish oh wait a minute it looks like maybe you already did i feel like you've got a new soulmate coming in i feel like you've got a lot of abundance coming in as well whatever you touch may turn be turning to gold right now or that's how other people may view you because i'm seeing you touching this well and everything in it is turning to gold okay the, or this is the energy you'll be in in the future so abundant anything you try or touch is going to turn to gold okay put your heart and soul into it and for some of you this um some of you have wished for a child some of you have wished for a baby 
And in the future, getting together with the right love for you, you're going to be able to start a family as well. So you've got like the Ten of Pentacles here. You've got, and that's a family, happy family, a lot of future abundance and new love coming in. After a lifetime of never experiencing real love, I feel like everyone um, took you for granted, took advantage of you, or just never gave back the kind of love that you gave, right? Maybe they couldn't, they didn't know how. You know, you could have felt like you were, you always stood out as different from the rest. No matter what group you were in, you were always the odd one, the different one. Well, that's because, you know what, um, you stood out because you were the loving one. And no one else knew what they were doing. Okay. It's really sad. But the people that have mistreated you... Now they're all worried about what karma is coming because they know a wrecking ball of karma is coming for them. They just think that you're in control of it. Like you're, you, they think you have the ability to tell the divine what their karma should be. But that's not at all what you're doing. You're focusing on your healing. So, yeah, anyway, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.